We're now going to take a more advanced look at Serif Draw Plus in making some digital animations. And in this example, there are two assets that have already been downloaded and saved to a convenient location. There's a file called fish.swf and there's also a file called tank.dpa and we'll be using both of these as we progress. Initially, I'm going to open up Serif Draw Plus. For this digital animation, we've already got the tank background. So I'm going to press open and navigate to the area where I saved it. And I'll find the tank file here. This will show me an aquarium background that I can use. I'm now going to add a new layer using the layers menu. I'll click the plus and I'll see that layer one has been produced. I'm now going to insert from the insert menu, the movie clip that I've also downloaded. And this is the fish flash file, again saved in my location. Using the cursor, I'm going to position it just outside of the fish tank in the gray area. And I'll draw it to size. At this point, I'm now going to save my working file from the file, save as, and I'll call it Aquarium. From the storyboard, I'm going to insert some more frames. In this case, I'd like nine keyframes. And as before, ensuring that I'm on the last keyframe of the storyline, I'm going to move my fish from one side to the other. And I'll notice that I've got my path bar of that object. Again, at this point, it's quite sensible to keep saving as I progress. Now midway through, about the fifth frame, I'm going to select, and I'm actually going to take the fish down to a slightly lower position. The path will now show me from the fish swimming from top left to somewhere in the middle to top right. Here's top left in keyframe one, somewhere in the middle around keyframe five, and by the time we get to keyframe nine, we're on the right hand side. You'll notice that the nodes have two different colours. Keyframe node number one is grey, as is number five, and as is number nine. And that's because in these keyframes, our object is actually being placed in a specific position. They've had some definition to them. If I preview this, we'll notice that my fish moves at a constant rate. I'm gonna hit the preview button. And here's my fish from top left to the middle part to top right. All at a very smooth, constant rate. But actually, I might want the fish to behave a little bit more realistic, slowing and speeding at certain points. Let's take a look how we can do that. I'm going to select keyframe number one. And on the right hand side, I'll notice that I have my easing tab. I'm going to choose the position envelope. And I'm then going to adjust the gradient of the line. I'm going to move it up like so. I should find now that the fish swims quickly to the bottom of the tank and then much more slowly back to the top. If I preview that, I have a quick move and then a very slow move back. Now I think for me that was a little bit too quick. So I'm just going to bring the envelope down just a little and I'll re-preview. In this example, that movement is just how I want it. And so I'll make sure that I save my project at this point. Going further, I'm now going to click the auto run button. 
This will ensure that any new objects created or repositioned will automatically run to the end of the storyboard. Ensuring that I'm on keyframe 1, I'm now going to insert a second fish. Insert, movie clip, and navigate to the fish SWF. I'm going to draw it out, but this time I'm going to draw it from the other side of the tank. I'd like my fish to be the other way around. So using my toolbar at the top, I'm going to change it horizontally. So it's flipped the correct way around. I'm going to click on the Update Attributes Forward button to the object. And I'm going to ensure that to end of storyboard has been selected. I can now take off the auto run button. I'm now going to animate the path of the second fish by clicking the final frame and moving it to the very left hand side of the fish tank. Again, just like before, I'm going to have one of the middle frames where it dips. In this case, I'm going to select keyframe number four and just dip it down to the very bottom. I could change my easing position again if I wish by maybe having it go slowly to begin with, but then speeding up at the end. I'm now going to save my work and preview it. I should have an aquarium with two fish moving at different speeds and swimming to different sides of the aquarium. I'm now going to look at masking unwanted areas. If the animation was resized at any point, I might find that the fish would begin to swim outside of the tank, which would look highly unrealistic. To do this, I'm going to add a new layer. It's been placed as layer 2 in my layers tab. And ensuring that I'm on the first frame, I'm going to draw using the quick rectangle a shape around the entirety of the fish tank. Using the swatch colours, I'm now going to make it a bright colour, in this case red. Now I've drawn this by freehand, but actually I've got very specific dimensions of my fish tank already. Clicking on the transform tab, I'm going to change my width to a known width of my fish tank already, which is 854 wide by 480 high. I can then go to the align button where I can centralize using the center horizontal and the center vertical. Scrolling down a little, I'm going to click on the run forward and I'm going to ensure that it is to end of storyboard. So this appears throughout the animation. At this point, I'll save my work. Going back to the layers tab, layer two, I now want to change. I'm going to double click it and change it to mask. I'm then going to right click and choose my layer properties. And from the attributes panel, I'll choose mask and press OK. Again, I'll save my work and I can preview it. The red box has been masked, so I can't see it. Although it will perform a great function should the digital animation be resized. At this point, I'm going to export my finished digital aquarium as a flash file. 